This one button on your pen unlocks really intuitive controls for seamless sculpting, navigation, and texture painting within Blender. So here's how to set up and unlock the full potential of your graphics tablet for Blender. Firstly, it's important to say you only need a tablet for sculpting and texture painting. Everything else, I use a mouse. There's two types of tablet, display tablets for around $350 for a decent one, or ordinary tablets for around 50 for a decent one. Display tablets are really nice and easy to use. Ordinary tablets get pretty close to this when you get used to them, but it can take a few hours. For the tablets I recommend, see the description. To set up your graphics tablet, there's one main button you need. Go to your driver control panel for your tablet. Every tablet should have one. Go to the pen settings. Change the primary button to the middle mouse button. We do that because the middle mouse button controls almost all the actions for your viewport control. You're now sorted and ready to go. Hold down the pen button to move around your objects. Hold down the pen button and control to zoom in and out. Press Alt and the pen button to focus on an area. Hold down Shift and the pen button to strafe around. Holding down Alt, the pen button, and moving from side to side and up and down will change your view from top, side, and front view. Now, along with this, most pens have a secondary button. I change this to the right click. I don't use it a lot, but it's much easier than having to pick up the mouse and right clicking if I have to. Lastly, if you have a third pen button, I would change that to the space bar. I would go into preferences key map and change the spacebar to tools. Then you can hold down that button and change your brushes really quickly. But those are just optional. The most important one is changing the main button to middle mouse button. So there you have it. Hope that helps. See you next time.